The feeling of wanting something better is natural. We're continually looking for the next best thing, the next new thing, the next better feeling. So look at it in the simple form is we wake up in the morning, we're looking for something to eat, we're looking for what we're going to start our day with. So that's better than where we were. If we rewind that, but went to bed last night, then that was better than being tired. So then we went to bed, we slept, and we wake up, and then continue. We go through life all the way from beginning to end, continually looking for that next better. Now, a lot of people feel, well, I'm unmotivated, or I don't find the inspiration to do something, or I don't know what to do. And so what happens is they keep going on autopilot, so autopilot being your subconscious, which is continually producing what you've done so far in your life, going over and over and over, kind of in a circling pattern, and then without being able to escape that to come over to what's new. So how do you escape that continuous repetition of something you're not liking? Because as that happens, eventually you run out of fuel, you get less and less and less inspired, and you're seeing other people that are having lives and they're creating things and they're doing things, and you can't make that transition to your next better experience. Well, you've been doing that your whole life. You've, got, you've gone from the experience of being a child to being an adult. You've gone from having things that you don't like to things that you do like. And now you find yourself in this repetition of things you used to like, but they're just not as fulfilling as they were before. But you've lost the method of how to create that next better. So what happens is when that gap increases, so now you're feeling really horrible about your life and you know that it can be really much better, then the first step is to realize that where does the idea about better come from? It comes from our observations. Now, that's all part of the 24 life ingredients under number four, which is the natural thought process, which starts with observation, leads to inspiration, leads to confidence, leads to self-esteem. So when we start to piece together the 24 life ingredients, and now we can go from where we're disappointed in life to a point where we're ecstatic, as we understand how to go from what we're no longer happy with to something that we're happy with. So we're going from, that was nice last year, but a few minutes ago or a few days ago, to this is nice now, to transition to what's going to be your next nice thing. What's going to fill that blank slate for the next nice thing? And when we don't have any control over that, bad life is here and where we want to be is here. But once we have control over that, it all comes into balance. And the experience we're having right now, we're enjoying that journey. And we know that what we're doing in our thoughts, our thinking, our conscious, our subconscious, using our feelings, that we're now transitioning from being happy on our journey and knowing that our journey is ever improving because we're always going to find the next better. And we're going to know how to transition from this what we're going through and then into what we're creating. And we don't need to have fear about what we're creating, even though it's a huge open space, because once we have the 24 life ingredient, once we've mastered them, things like thoughts, thinking, conscious, subconscious, our feelings, these are all the spiritual part of our being. So not spiritual, not as in the religious sense, but the spiritual in when we wake up, when we're thinking, when we're acting, when we're breathing, when we're doing, these are all starting from a spiritual reality that creates our physical reality. So if we can recognize that we start with thoughts, so thoughts are observations which are leading to uh, inspirations, they become part of our physical reality. And as we tire of our physical reality and we want the next better, well, we have to go back to our thoughts, our thoughts and our thinking and observations they're, they're, you can't cut them out and put them on a table to see them. But you, you have thoughts and thinking, you use your mind to create, this is what I have, what do I want next? And the better we become at that, so we go from this imbalance in life of, I want better, but I don't know how to get it, to I have better, and I want the next better, and I know how to create that. 
So as we transition, now we find balance in life, we find happiness. Now, unhappiness is always here as our what was better becomes boring, becomes less interesting. And as we start to look for the next better, so this becomes the unhappiness and this is the happiness. But in the transition, now we're saying, okay, well, that tiny bit of unhappiness is just balance for the happiness that comes. We're no longer focused on this, on this imbalanced unhappiness. We're, we're more in tune with the universe and using all the 24 life ingredients to go from, this is what I have, I, I've worn out that experience, I'm looking for the new experience, and I'm using the 24 life ingredients to transition over so that I'm gonna find new, fulfilling experiences for tomorrow and through the rest of my life. That's the process of life, that's how it works. And if you're looking for coaching on this so that you don't have to spend the next months and years trying to figure out how to escape that negativity, contact us and try one life coaching session, see if it works for you. When it works for you, what you'll find is that you're going to want to sign up for three months and six months, as my clients do, because they realize that where they're stuck in life, their subconscious patterns, this circling pattern that they're doing, they'll repeat it over and over. And even though they get immediate improvement from one session, and then from the next session, they're finding in between sessions that the email contact is useful because as they get motivated, but then they fall off because they're used to all these habits that they've already got. And this is where you'll find, you might have been to motivational speakers and they get you all inspired and you're all excited for a day, a week, a month. I've seen people pay $30,000, $35,000 for to become something in a week and then three months, six months later, the money's lost, they're unhappy about the choice they made and they realize that it was a waste of time because they were externally motivated. If you like what I'm telling you and this is making sense for you, then subscribe to my YouTube channel, John Verway 2020. Read up all the answers I've got on Quora and contact me with specifics about what you're trying to accomplish in your life so that I can help you to discover how to use your thoughts, your thinking, your conscious, your subconscious, your feelings, so that you can create the life that you truly love. That's an easy thing to do, but it requires making a choice of either continuing trying to do it on your own and going around in those circles because without the 24 life ingredients you're not going to be able to escape that pattern. And once you've got the use of these ingredients, I'm not telling you what to do with your life, I'm just providing you with the how so that once you've got the 24 life ingredients mastered, you can do anything you want in your life. You can create anything, but you'll be able to create it deliberately because now you're going, it's like a staircase. You're going from here to there to there and you're going up and you're you're getting where you need to be without any real strain and you're bringing that balance into life where it just becomes easy to transition from yesterday's experience to tomorrow's new experience and through through life. I'm John Verway and I look forward to meeting you.